However, the one small thing we can control is that we know today is Fossil Friday. That we can count on. <laughs> Yes, we can. Every Friday, it's Fossil Friday, which means $7. You can dig all the fossils you want at Penn Dick Sea Fossil Park and Nature Reserve. Oh, look, they also have cool T-shirts with trilobites on them. <laughs> Today at Penn Dixie Fossil Park and Nature Reserve, we're looking for poop. Mel, what are you doing? It's this way. Oh. You won't just find the fossils of ancient critters and corals at Penn Dixie. Oh no, there's a whole lot more, including the stuff those critters left behind. You know what? I think Dr. Holly explains this better. We have 380 million year old worm poop and it's fossilized for us to find and oftentimes it's sparkly because the poop is replaced by the mineral pyrite which is fool's gold. Fossil poop, its um, scientific name is uh, coprolite so it has a fancy science name and uh, we can find fossil poop in a everywhere basically on the planet in the different rock formations. Dinosaur poop is also very common in, in rock shops in different places, which we have an example of here. And while you won't find dinosaur poop at Pendixie, except for the piece Dr. Holly keeps for teaching purposes, there is another common rock that is more than meets the eye. This is limestone, another sedimentary rock here at Pendixie. So all fossils, most fossils come from sedimentary rocks. But this sedimentary rock is unique because it has silt, sand and clay and a little bit of bioorganisms that are dead or microfossils. And the thing that cements or holds them together is their excrement like pee and poop. And now we will never look at limestone the same again. So these little critters or animals, when they were alive, they would have been at the bottom of the seafloor or benthic, because you have to use your imagination, this is all underwater. So this benthic foraminifera, or like, you know, lower level animals would then die and then stack up over and over and over and over, and eventually all the water would get squished out and then they fuse together with their excrement still there. It's a great building material. If you want to find a fossil in the limestone, you're going to have to work a little bit harder when you come. You might need some extra tools versus the shale, which is very crumbly and falls apart very easily. Um, but that's not to say you can't find good fossils in the limestone. The best way to find a fossil probably in the limestone would be to find a, a crack or a fissure and get the chisel and the hammer and, and just start whacking. You're mostly going to find corals, you might find some crinoids or those underwater sea lilies, and a lot of it is microscopic fossils, little microfossils that you'd need a microscope to see because they're so teeny tiny. But before you poo-poo the idea of fossilized excrement. So uh, the value of fossil poop, it's telling us that not only were, were animals living on the bottom of the ocean, but also in the sediment of the ocean floor. That even though those animals aren't preserved, because um, they're soft-bodied, we have um, things they left behind. 